Hello and welcome to another Brainshot Challenge. So as you can see, the reindeer is back here in my trophy lodge on the full body platform. It has been one week since I had the white tail uh, mounted here in the trophy lodge since we lost the last Brainshot Challenge. Uh, and it's actually been two weeks since that uh, because I lost the challenge with Zaggedy K on his stream. Uh, and uh, for that, I had to mount a roe deer female here. So I had that and then the white tail doe uh, for losing the Brainshot Challenge. So today we're here on Valdebois with a different weapon. This time we're going to try the 30 odd 6. And we're going to go for 6 out of 10 since we only got 5 out of 10 last time. I think it would be best to uh, have to go at least one better. So we spawned up here in the north and we're going to head south. I'm only going for deer species so that is red deer and roe deer. I'm going to ignore uh, brown bear and red fox. But I'm just going to go down the river uh, and if we don't already have 10 shots by the time we get down there, we'll go somewhere else. But I think we'll be able to do that. I had a test run here uh, yesterday or the day before, but I wasn't going for brain shots. Uh, and I had, I think, 10 total kills by the time I got to the end of the river. So hopefully we can get lucky with the spawn today. All right, so we got a red deer female coming in. She's actually getting very close, so hopefully she'll stop. She's getting super close, though. She hasn't stopped in, like, forever, the entire time she's been coming in. Alright, that should have been a brain shot. It actually helped that she moved her head that time, and usually I'm waiting for them to put their head uh, back to normal, and that was a brain shot. Starting off one for one, hopefully we can continue that. I don't know how that road here wasn't spooked, but I guess we'll try to call her in. I'm going to try not to ignore her. Any animals, like, let's say I don't do good on the next two roe deer that I shoot, I'm not going to ignore other roe deer just because I wasn't doing good on them. Every animal that I have uh, that I can call in, I will try to. If it's spooked, I might ignore it just because that's going to take a while to call in, but I'm going to try to keep it fair in that aspect. I've been here like 10 or 15 minutes waiting for this roe deer to come in, and it's finally getting close. Uh, I guess maybe it was spooked, uh, even though it called. Uh, and then this one also showed up, but it's just been walking around in circles out there. And every time this one gets to like 50 meters, it just turns around. So I'm hoping it's either going to... You know what? We're just... Jeez, every time. And that time it was at like 30 meters, but it's still just 180 degree turn for no reason. I think that was probably a brain shot, but my goodness, that was not worth the wait. It was a brain shot, so we're two for two, but I can't believe I laid there that long waiting for a female roe deer. I spent another, like, five minutes waiting for this guy to be unspooked. I guess maybe he heard the shot uh, on the roe deer that we just had, but at least he's not walking around in circles like those other two. That was just extremely frustrating. And actually, he's going to stop and say hello. I knew he would start walking, too, and I had to get that shot off fast, but... I didn't have my breath back from holding it when he initially stopped. He's gonna spin. Should have been brain shot number three. We're doing, I think, if we made it, a lot better than last time. And we got it again. Alright, we're halfway there and we've not yet missed, so hopefully we can keep this up. I wouldn't mind leaving my reindeer mounted on the full body platform for a while. Someone did suggest uh, in the comments of the last Brain Shot Challenge video uh, that I do a Heartbreaker Challenge, which would just be the same thing except uh, with Heart Shots. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. I think that would actually be pretty fun to do with a bow maybe as well. Uh, but let me know if you guys would like to see it. Now, this guy is worth waiting for. I just dropped the game volume a good bit because I'm just pouring down rain. This is going to be a legendary miss, by the way, if we can't get a Brain Shot. Because this is easily a 260's red view. You can see 255 to 280 score estimate. I really hope he stops because he's getting quite close and he is not going to hang around. Yes. I, <laughs> I really didn't want to mess that up. Alright. 274. What a giant. Alright, not a bad looking trophy shot. And he's going directly in the lodge. He beat out the other one that I have there by like 7 inches, so that's a pretty good margin. 
I was waiting on a stag, but this female is sneaking up on us, so I guess we'll take her. And the stag will probably spook in the direction that we're headed, so it's not such a bad thing. Because that's pretty much how every kill we've gotten this hunt has been anyway. We are killing it this time. I don't know if the practice from last time uh, is helping or why this one's working out so well. Red Deer admittedly have a bigger brain to aim for, but not by much. I already guess this... Oh, okay. Thought the score wasn't going to calculate, but it did. Alright, maybe we'll figure out where this Red Deer stag ended up. It didn't have a very high weight, so I don't think it's that big, but maybe it'll be ahead of us anyway. I had to play the waiting game once again. This is the stag uh, that we had coming in when that Red Deer female snuck up on us. And if we can make this brain shot, we'll already be at 6, which was the goal I set at the beginning of the hunt. May have to do another walking one, though. That one was just too easy. You walk, walked right into it dead on. Everything else has been a bit more difficult. That looks like a really good road your buck. Guess he went out of render. He was somewhere over in there. I'm gonna take it slow when I head that way. Brain and neckbone one. So we've already completed the goal that I set at the beginning of the hunt, but I am going to go ahead and use all 10 shots and just see how many brain shots we can get. Well, our road here actually wasn't all that special, just 110 to 165 score estimate. This one could be tough, and I guess he just went for a swim. Yeah, there he is. I think he will stop for just a second uh, when he kind of notices us, so I got to make this fast. Because shooting him in the brain on the trot's not easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that wasn't a brain shot. Guess we're not going 10 for 10. I might see if he stops and just try another shot, though. See if he'll stop somewhere. Making it on the walk's going to be tough. I think I had that on my first lineup, too, but... Maybe I'll try it while he's walking. Yeah, that looks like it's probably neck. It's pretty far back, but it seems like it would have been too high up to hit the neck bone. And to be completely honest, I don't know. Maybe the 30-odd 6 with just a skull shot would drop a road here. Let's see just what we managed to get. By the way, whoa, what's that? Just a red deer female. And she's trotting around, so she's spooked anyway. I did end up getting a different uh, CPU fan, so I've been able to record this entire time, and I'm not uh, alt-tabbing immediately after I say something to uh, turn my fan back on before I blow my CPU up. So hopefully that sounds a little better. I don't think that it's loud at all. I haven't heard it since I started, uh, and from the testing that I did, it really doesn't get that loud, so I think we're all good for any future videos. I don't know how that could be brain, but let's see. It is, wow. Alright, not going to complain. We are 7 for 8, I think. Yeah, we have two shots left. We'll see if we can uh, find a couple of animals. I might take longer shots just because uh, we've already completed the challenge. Especially like if we see that red deer that's spooked already. Uh, I'm not going to call it in, but... Two more shots and then I want to go uh, to the lodge before we leave and check out that red deer on the wall. Alright, this red deer female is getting pretty close. This is actually one of the few animals I've had uh, that called out and not ones that I've seen uh, after spooking them. This is just going so much better uh, than the one on Logger's Point did. Eight out of nine. And I'm going to head up towards the lodge because I did see a red deer female spook in that direction a little bit ago. And we'll either get her or maybe something else. What's that? That's probably her. Maybe if she'll stop, we'll just go for a long shot. If not, I'll just uh, try to figure out where she goes. And she's actually trotting our way now. Yeah, I thought she'd stop there, but she's just going to keep trotting around. If I can get prone on a rock, I'll probably take a shot at her there. Maybe this one will work.
Well, that's not a brain shot, but it did drop her. We took her through the neck without a doubt. So that's going to put us at 8 out of 10 for the hunt, which is uh, 2 more than the goal that I set. So that's not bad at all. So if we do this again next time, I will set the goal at 9. Uh, but I'll definitely do different species on a different map uh, just to keep that part changing. And I'll probably do a different weapon as well. I don't know if I have any other rifles uh, that I'm super high level with because the uh, 300, I think I'm around level 16 and the 30 odd 6 that we're using this hunt, I am level 14. Yeah, neckbone one. Alright, let's go up to the trophy lodge and take a look at that stag that we got. Looking pretty good, 274.075, I'm sure Max the Taxidermist had a fun time uh, removing the gaping bullet hole uh, in the center of its forehead, but looking good there, and our reindeer gets to stay here as well, uh, at least for another week until we do more challenges. I might do like a weekly challenge thing if you guys uh, would be interested in that, where uh, punishments would be something with the trophy lodge here, uh, having to mount like a stupid animal or removing something uh, in favor of something much, uh, worse. Anything like that, if you guys come up with something, or if I can think of something, uh, I'll definitely do that. But let me know if you guys want to see more of these challenge videos. I really do enjoy doing them. Uh, I, I don't know, I play the game a fair amount, uh, when I'm not recording, so, uh, I'm definitely always, uh, a fan of doing things that are just different, uh, and changing up a bit, so, yeah, I, uh, it's, it's funny the way it works. Uh, we get a trophy kill when we're just running around having fun, but I spent, I don't know how many hunts on Vatoball looking for a 260 stag before I finally did get one, uh, and then we just come here to get brain shots so and we kill a 274, so that's just the way it goes. But with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.